Hey, I'm Jeanette Ziegler, Advanced Paramedic Practice Educator in the Lower Mainland. One of our practice updates today is the use of the pharyngeal suctioning with an eye gel in place for PCPs. I'm going to run you through the indications and the cautions for this procedure, as well as how to safely insert the NG tube into the eye gel for PCPs and review sizing for ACPs. Indications for use of pharyngeal suctioning for the PCP is decontamination of vomit or gastric secretions when suction was required prior to eye gel insertion, or known or suspected presence of gastric secretions, or ventilation remains difficult despite the efforts to reposition or resecure the eye gel. Cautions and considerations. Always thoroughly decontaminate the airway of vomit or gastric secretions prior to the insertion of an eye gel. If ventilation becomes difficult after an episode of active vomiting, Remove the eye gel, suction the airway if needed, and reinsert. If the eye gel becomes dislodged with an NG tube in place, do not reinsert the eye gel with the NG tube extended. If ventilation is difficult on initial insertion, consider other causes. Improper eye gel size, incorrect depth, lack of posterior or inferior pressure, and airway obstruction. Required equipment. Eye gel recess pack, which contains the airway, NG tube, neoprene securing strap, and mucogel lubricant. Connector for NG tube and suction tubing, clear tape, and powered suction with tubing attached. Correct procedure. Insert eye gel as indicated in clinical practice guidelines. Secure eye gel using the included neoprene strap or a Thomas tube holder. Extra diligence must be used to apply and maintain posterior and inferior pressure during and after application of the securing device. Failure to maintain this pressure may result in the loss of an airway seal. Unravel the NG tube included with the recess pack. PCPs will measure the required length by using the flat, label side of the clear plastic outer eye gel packaging as a measuring guide. Straighten the NG tube and measure along the long axis of the package with the distal tip of the NG tube on one edge. Adding approximately two centimeters to the previous measurement will ensure sufficient length for all suction holes on the NG tube to be exposed beyond the distal end of the eye gel. Wrap a few centimeters of clear tape around the NG tube to mark your depth measurement. Advanced care paramedics measure the required length by placing the distal tip of the NG tube at the patient's navel, traveling up to the earlobe, and then to the end of the eye gel. Wrap a few centimeters of clear tape around the NG tube to mark your depth measurement. Place a small bolus of mucal gel lubricant over the proximal end of the gastric channel. Insert the NG tube through the lubricant into the gastric channel. Continue insertion until the taped depth indicator reaches the outer edge of the gastric channel, but no further. Attach NG tube to suction tubing. Turn on suction between 80 to 100 and watch for presence of fluid. Once fluid is cleared or if no fluid appears after 15 to 20 seconds, turn suction off but leave attached. Continuous suction is not appropriate and may cause harm. If additional gastric secretions are suspected or eye gel seal becomes impaired, repeat suction as needed.
Thank you for your continued professionalism during these stressful times.